Good morning guys, welcome back. If you guys are new here, my name is Jane. You guys should totally go ahead and click that subscribe button, join the party, join the fam. I'm currently walking to work. Well, I'm not gonna walk the whole way, I'm gonna take the train. <laughs> but on my way to work right now, this morning I just like had to finish up some studying stuff and then I just got ready. It was a pretty bland morning, but it's like 7.30 right now. So I've been waking up at 5.30, which has been rough. But it's so nice to like be able to get things done and like be productive before you actually have to like go and start your day, you know? Done with work, I'm on my way home. I actually like just ate. I just had that leftover tikka masala that I made last night. So I had that for lunch. I'll probably go home and make something. I kind of want like just a lot of veggies for dinner. But I have peppers that I have to cut up and like that's what I need. Today was a really long day. But it was good. Training's going really, really well, which is awesome. I'll talk to you guys more when I come home. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I got home from work and then it was just like, like I haven't stopped moving today. During my lunch break, I went uptown, signed my lease, and then came back downtown. Had like 20 minutes to eat lunch and then started working again. So I'm really tired now, but I'm getting a little hungry. It's like 7.30. I just like sat down and zoned out on my phone and then blinked and it was like an hour later. So I'm gonna make dinner right now. I'm just gonna see what I have in my fridge. So this is more of like a realistic, unplanned dinner for me. I did not work out today. We have like certain hours at my gym that we're not allowed to work out. And by the time that we were done with all of our training, it was that time. So, no workout today, that's okay, we'll take a skip day and just keep working out throughout the week. I used to be really strict with myself. I had like a very strict schedule for myself. In college, just because everything was so scheduled and then when I lived in Florida, I had a really, really scheduled routine because if I didn't schedule it and I didn't like make the time to go, then I wouldn't go. Now I don't really have, I mean, I have like a workout split in the sense that like this week, for example, on Monday I did back and by. Yesterday I did legs, tomorrow, well today I was supposed to do shoulders and tries, um, so I'll probably do either legs or shoulders and tries tomorrow and then either legs and shoulders and try. Whichever one I don't do on, don't do tomorrow, I'll do on Friday. So it's not really quite as structured as it used to be, but that's really working for me right now. I'm not working towards any super specific goals right now, I'm just looking to like build a little bit of muscle, maintain. So yeah, I just want to catch up on that, so I'm going to make dinner, just see what I have in the fridge and throw it together. really pretty honestly this might last me three meals like this is so much food and this is one of those things that's like it's so easy to add something to so if I wanted to like add meat to it I could go get some chicken cook up the chicken and then just put it on top of here it'd be so so simple so I'm also putting avocado avocado on this just to add some healthy fats these are like the tiniest teeniest little avocados I've ever seen they're so cute so I'm gonna put one of those on there let me know if you guys would be interested I was thinking about maybe starting like a little series surrounding food so maybe like how to how to like begin cooking you know like stuff like that or like recipes for beginners because I just kind of make things up right now but I mostly taught myself how to cook I watched my mom cook for many many years but stuff like this like I just taught myself uh, my mom's way more organized <laughs> in the kitchen than I am so let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that because I think it'd be really really fun 
Okay, so here's how I make sure that I have healthy lunches is that when I cook dinner, I just cook twice as much. Oh, well, when I said I had three meals, that was, I was lying to myself because I just simply did not have that much. So this will be lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge. It's just so easy. You can grab it right on your way out. And then for dessert tonight, I think I'm gonna have some frozen mango. I just have that frozen mango and then I put a little bit of honey on top and then I also put a little bit of that chili lime seasoning. Honestly, I don't know if this is gonna be good because <laughs> I just kind of made this up. So we'll try it and we'll see. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's a keeper. What I put on top is just the chili lime seasoning. This is from Trader Joe's. I think it's like $2. You can find it right by the everything with the bagel seasoning. We all know where that one is, right? A lot of people like chili on mango. I don't like a whole lot of chili, but just like a little bit. I'm watching Gossip Girl right now. And guys, I honestly forgot how iconic, iconic Gossip Girl truly was. I'm boiling water, that's what you're hearing. And I'm finishing off the night with some ginger tea as per usual. And this is new to my nighttime routine, but I really, really like it. And then normally after this, I'll get some work done, I'll probably edit this vlog. And then like a half hour before bed, I'll take a little bit of CBD oil and that kind of concludes my nighttime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here so I can just like focus on getting everything done for the night. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Never forget to love the life you lit. I will see you guys in my next video. Oh,